Hello, in this video we are going to talk about a very challenging topic. It's the topic of studying something that you don't want to study. Studying something that maybe you hate. And so this is something that everyone who goes to college, at least in the US, is going to experience because in the US you are required to take certain classes uh, for your degree, and many times there are classes you don't want to take. But even in other countries, this is the case many times. So this video is inspired by a very short email I received. I'm going to start this video by reading the email and then doing my best to answer it. And hopefully after watching this video, maybe you can leave some comments and leave some advice for this person on how to, you know, help them in their predicament. So the person's name is Theo. And the subject is academics. The message reads as follows. Hello, this isn't specifically a maths question, but I'd still like your input. I'm really struggling with A-level chemistry, and even the maths bit of camera hard. They're even harder than A-level maths or further maths. People say I'm being dramatic and finding chemistry the hardest subject when I do maths and physics too. Any advice on how to effectively study subjects I despise, like chemistry and maybe statistics. So step one is to realize that you're not alone. Everyone who goes to college experiences the same thing. Okay, it's, it's, it's one of those things. So there's a couple things you can do. And this works for any class, not just classes you hate. So step one is to remind yourself why you're there. Why are you going to school, right? What, what, is, what is the point of going to school? What is your goal? So keeping your eye on the goal and reminding yourself of that longer term goal is what's going to pick you up off the ground and get you to study chemistry or, or physics or mathematics, whatever it is you're trying to learn that you don't want to learn. Always have a good goal. And, and sometimes when people reflect on their goals, they're thinking, hey, wait a minute, I don't even wanna be in school. And I, I'm not saying that's, that's what you should do, but it does happen and it can create doubts. So just try to keep a clear head and really think about why you're in school, what your goals are, and then once you have those goals, you will do whatever it takes to reach them, including studying for classes you hate, because grades do matter. At the end of the day, your grade is going to matter uh, in that class. It's not everything, but it is going to matter. Another thing you can do is to try to study a little bit every day. So if you can force yourself to sit down and even just do you know, one problem or even just read one paragraph, that, that is better than nothing. Um, when I was a student, I had a similar problem with biology two. I took biology one and biology two because it was required as a math major. I, I could have taken chemistry, but it would have required a third course, an intro course. And I, so I chose the biology route as a math major. And when I was in biology two, I remember there was this guy, he, he sat next to me and He's like, I'm going to be a doctor, so I have to get an A. And he was getting A's, and I wasn't. I remember thinking, wow, this guy is so good. Why am I not as good? And I tried everything. I tried studying outside, studying in the backyard, studying in the front yard, studying on the couch, studying in a chair, in the kitchen table, studying with friends. I mean, I tried to do whatever it took to get myself to study biology too. And I hated it. And I think part of the reason was probably, you know, the professor. She was a very nice lady, but I, it just wasn't for me. Looking back, I probably should have embraced it. And I don't know, I, I have a hard time thinking why I hated it so much, but I just know at the time, I didn't like it. <laughs> so I know where you're coming from. And so I studied hard, hard, and I ended up, I, I think it's my only C in college. I think I got a C plus in that class. And that was the class I probably, well, no, I think there were other classes I hated more and I did better, but that was one of the ones that I really, really despised. And so what I did in order to pass the class, because I didn't get an A, um, was just force myself to do it and remind myself my grades do matter, my GPA does matter, because I was trying to go to graduate school and GPA matters. So, so you just force yourself to do it. You just suck it up and do it. And I know it's not a very, very good answer, but, but that's the reality of it is. What I find is oftentimes when you sit down with a pen and a piece of paper or a pencil, once you get going, like once you do one problem, 
you're gonna be okay. It's, it's, like, it's like studying mathematics, right? You sit down and once you get the pencil moving and you do a couple problems, then you start to flow. Or, or like going for a run. When you go run, you know, those first few minutes are a little bit rough sometimes. And then once you get in the flow, it starts to feel really good. Same thing with working out. Normally you have to warm up first. Same thing with studying. You need to warm up the brain. So just get started and get through those first, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes and try to get in the rhythm of it and try to spend at least an hour maybe if you can or, or whatever you can. Any studying is better than no studying. So Theo, hopefully um, this helps you. Chemistry is a hard one. I had a friend uh, who has a chemistry PhD now. And it's funny because he wanted to study mathematics. Uh, and in France, there's some kind of test or something you take. I don't know the details, but apparently his scores were not high enough. So he was not able to study math. He had to go study chemistry instead. So he came to the U.S. and got his chemistry PhD. Pretty cool, right? Uh, I don't think he uses it anymore, though. He does something completely unrelated. In any case, uh, it's the opposite of your situation, which is kind of funny because uh, <laughs> you, you don't like chemistry. He had to study chemistry, uh, and he actually really liked math. Um, so yeah, kind of interesting. If you want to learn mathematics, by the way, I, I do have courses. They're on my website. Check them out, mathsorcerer.com. Also, if you're not a subscriber, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. And um, if you have any input for Theo, you know, leave a comment. I think that getting yourself to study when you don't want to, getting yourself to study things that you hate is a really, really hard thing because you can apply this to anything, right? You can apply this to working out. You can apply this to going to work at a job. Maybe you have a job you hate. How do you go to work when you don't want to, right? You remind yourself, well, it pays the bills. I need the money. I have to go to work. Same thing with school, right? You just say, hey, uh, am I just going to roll over and, and just, you know, die and, and fail my class? Or am I going to get up and do the best I can and try to get an A, right? If you aim to be the best, if you aim to be the best in your chemistry class, worst case scenario, um, you will you will pass. You mentioned statistics. That's another one. I think for some reason, for some reason, math majors, a lot of them also have a problem with statistics. It's, I mean, it's a separate degree in the U.S. and, and everywhere. You can either get a degree in math or you can get a degree in statistics. So they are different fields, but um, they're very, very similar. There's a lot of mathematics, obviously, in statistics. It is, it is mathematics. So yeah, anyway, it's just a random video I thought I would make because I think there's a lot of people out there who are in situations where they're trying to learn something and they don't want to. So remember, keep your eye on the prize. Remind yourself why you're there. Why are you in the class? Why are you doing this, right? There's a reason you're there. And that reason is because you have a goal. So you have to do well in order to accomplish your goals. So just get out there and start studying, right? You just gotta do it. I hope it's been helpful. Keep doing mathematics.